All right, so this next lesson is all about counting backwards using time. So I'll show you what I mean. Jared spends one hour and 35 minutes mowing a lawn. He stops for a break at 1.20 p.m. What time did he start mowing the lawn? Hmm. Well, we know he started, or he ended here. But we don't know the start time. So there's two ways that we can do this. I think you'll find both ways pretty much the same um, when it comes to like easiness, but the first way is a t-chart. So the second way is this um, line graph. Um, not line graph, I'm sorry. This is, this is just like a, it's just a line, like a number line. So the first thing we always start with is the hours. Why? Because it's super easy to go backwards one hour. What hour comes before 1 o'clock? 12 o'clock. So our big jump will be 1 hour. 12 on the clock comes right before 1, and we keep the 20 because we only went 1 hour. Right? Because we only worked with this side of the dots. 35 minutes. Okay, so we have 20 minutes here. So what I would do is I would start with... 35, right, and I'm going to subtract 20, and that leaves us with 15, right, so now I'm going to take away 20, and that's going to get me to 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock on the dot, but I have 15 more minutes left, all right, so now I have to go backwards, which means that we're going to be in the 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock is going to be, so let's go backwards 15 minutes. So I'm going to do that by counting by fives. So what's 15 minutes, or five minutes before, five minutes before 12 would be 11, 55. All right, now we're going to do that another time because we still have 10 minutes left. So we know that there's going to be two. So this is going to be 11 minus 5. Uh, 55 minus 5 is 50. And this one is going to be minus 5 again. 50 minus 5 is 11. 45. All right, now let's try it on the number line. Here's the start time. 1, 20. All right, and these are hours, I like to label it like this, and minutes. All right, 120, we're going to take away one hour. Let's grab a clock. I'm going to use this. Okay, well, it won't let me. I'm just going to take a picture of it. It might be easier for you to see. It might be easier to see using a clock now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, he's too big. I'll make him smaller. There we go. So here's our clock. This kid starts at 120. All right. So the time would have the little hand here. All right. And the big hand would be about here. We're going to move back an hour. What comes before 1? Well, we're going to move it back an hour and it's going to be 12. Oh, not 12 o'clock. It's 12.20. We didn't move that one, so that's a 2. 12.20. And we subtracted one hour. So now we're done with this. We have 35 minutes left. We're going to take away 20 minutes because there's 20 minutes on our clock. So that would leave us at 12 o'clock. All right. But we only did an hour and 20 minutes. We still have 15 left. Now we go into the 11s, all right? So we 
now we have we are now at 12 o'clock which means the big hand is here and the little hand is also here that's what 12 o'clock looks like we got to move this big hand back so we're going to go back five minutes five ten fifteen minutes so that would be 12 and i'm going to move this big hand here that would read because we're going backwards we gotta move this hand a little bit that would read now 11 and this would be 30 minutes 35 40 45 All right, so now we're going to do another problem. This looks confusing, but it's actually, once you kind of get it, it's pretty easy. So let's go this way. And let's do this one. Ben is riding his bike at 10.05 and stopped 23 minutes later. What time did he stop riding his bike? Going forward is always easier. we go so I'm gonna do both again this time I'm gonna do the t-chart first we're only working with minutes and we started at 10 oh five there we go so 10.05 is our start time. We want to add 23 minutes. My suggestion to you is always start with the largest one. So we have no hours. The next largest is the 20. So we're going to add 20 because 23, we're going to break it down, is 20 plus 3. We are going to now add 20 minutes. To 1005 so plus 20 so that would be 10 20 plus 5 is 25 all right but we're not done because we have to add the 3 now we're going to add the 3 so plus 3 25 plus 3 is what 25 26 27 28 It is 10, 28, All right? You can do the same thing here. We're going to go plus 20, so that's 10, 20. We would add 10, 25. But we need to go three more. One, two, three. Get 10, 28. All right, so this is all about just making, I feel like the T-chart is going to be the easiest one for you guys. Let's do one more. Um, let's do this one. The dance class is on Saturday. It lasts an hour and 15 minutes and is over at 12.45. What time does it start? So, this time, I'm only going to do my T-chart. So, my start time is 12, 
45. Right? And I'm going to work in hours and minutes. Always do hours first. What comes before 12 on the clock? So count backwards. We have 12 up here. What comes right here? 12, 11, because we're going backwards. 11. We're minusing one hour. And we keep the 45 because we only worked with the hours. We worked hours first, then we do minutes. Let's keep the 11. Now we have to minus 15 minutes. Let's break 15 apart so that we don't have to do too much work. 15 is 10 plus 5. So let's do 10 first because it's bigger. Minus 10 minutes. Forty-five minus ten is thirty-five. That's just counting by tens. And we keep the eleven because we're only working in the minutes right now. Now minus five. Thirty-five minus five is thirty. So we did the hours. We did the ten. And we did the 15. I am in the 5, which makes 15. We just subtracted it, and we got 11.30. Boom. That's not so bad, I think. You guys are going to be able to try this on your own. In the next couple of ones, they're going to be, I think, pretty easy. And if you have any questions, you can just come to us during a Google Meet. And we will see you later.